listen up, readers, look with the Geek My name's Steve, and today we're doing a small little custom. Uh, good buddy Matt got a hold of me, asked me if I could uh, customize a figure arts Belial to be a Kaiser Belial. Uh, something similar to what they do with the Ultra Act line. And I was like, yeah, sure, don't mind. Uh, because it's mostly, it's a fairly simple job. Uh, for the most part, all I'm going to be really doing is adding the scars to the face here. Uh, we're going to have to recolor the eyes to be a more red shade, uh, bright red, and painting the nails. <laughs> uh, and then that's pretty much it for the body. Uh, the rest of it is mostly the same from what I could tell. Uh, so first things first. Hey. Okay, I didn't want to take it off there. I want the head bit. We need this. The rest of this can go set aside. Uh, so for the most part, all we're going to be really painting today and accessorizing are going to be his hands and his head. So we'll set this aside for now and then have fun with this. And this is easily the most terrifying bit because we are going to be, where my drum went? Hey, uh, we're going to be carving the scars out of here and just realized it's going to be really hard to show this on the camera the way I have it set up currently. So right back. All right. So for this, I'm going to be using some reference photos. If I can find where I put them. All right. So we're going to start with the bottom and work my way up. Low setting. Now, it looks like it's slightly away from the jaw. Right around here. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I just realized I was recording. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Anyways, got the rest of it carved out. Uh, you guys can see here that it's actually uh, the entire head's translucent, which is kind of cool. Then they painted over top of it. But now we got this carved out a little bit, so now we can start adding the paint for the eyes and doing that. Actually, I might go in and dig this out a little bit more, just so you guys can see a little better what I was doing, but... Some of these cracks I want to be really shallow, but then some of these I want to have like a little bit like a little depth to them, you know? Same it down here. Density. And then it's a premature for that. I just got to paint. Alright, so painted the scars. Uh, essentially, all I did here. I can show you guys real quick is because of the crevices you can just go over this entire thing with the red paint and I'm just gonna do this one more time just to kind of get a little more red in some of these sections but once you get it on you just take your thumb and just wipe it back off pretty simple to do You can also use a cloth if you really wanted to. Well, you want to use something flat. So usually, like I like using my thumb, get the excess residue off. All right, so I did a test run here. Uh, I'll show you guys exactly how I did it. But we have Belial with his claws painted. Looks pretty nice overall. Uh, I'll show you guys how I got to there, and then we got to tint the eyes, and then pretty much it. Uh, worked on the robe a bit, and yeah, it wasn't uh, not working out the way I'm going to. So he already had somebody that was 
um, has a, a robe available, so we're just going to go that route. Because after I figure that out, cost-wise, it'd probably just be cheaper. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, head's turned out good so far, so get the other hands, show you guys how it's done. All right, so for the hands we have left, uh, as you guys can see, I did paint one of the claws on the gripping hand here for his staff. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing for this one. These ones you actually just have to hand paint. There's not really a good way of going about airbrushing it onto there. So, just heads up. <laughs> but for these ones, we can't airbrush. I can show you guys exactly how I would do that. Uh, actually, first, I'll probably hook up my airbrush and then we'll do that. All right, so for this application, I'm actually using what looks almost like an empty can. But actually, what's in here is translucent putty. Uh, it's called Liquid Glass. Uh, this particular brand is Crazy Aaron's. Uh, there's quite a bit of them. Uh, this one's a little bit more pricey. I've gotten cheaper ones to try, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, but what you do is you just wrap the hands in them. Make sure you just use, try to use just enough to cover it. Because essentially this is kind of going to be like your painter's tape, if you will. So... Airbrush compressors going off, but you just want to make sure you got enough just to cover everything that you don't want painted. So I'm definitely going to need a little bit more for the back section here. What's nice about using the clear is that you can kind of see where your stop points are, so you aren't trying to fix it all yourself all the time. Like you don't have to worry about overcorrecting when you're doing it this way. Well, let's say if you're using a colored putty, it's a lot, a little bit more guessing game, so it's just slightly easier to do it this route. So again, just kind of sculpting around it just to make sure I'm covering everything I need. And make sure all the parts I need revealed are revealed. Now, some of this I might go back over with a brush later, just to make sure if I screw up anything, I can kind of touch it up here and there as I go. But for the most part, I want it to have a pretty clean coverage, which is why I'm going with the airbrush. Also, don't worry about getting your putty dirty, because after I paint it, I'm just learning it out anyways. So, it's not too concerning if there's a couple of, like, specks of dirt here and there from me dropping this thing because I just don't care about it. I think I'm good where I can airbrush. So when spraying, I'm uh, first going to test to make sure I got the right amount of stream coming off of this thing. going to do a light coverage to begin with, hair dry it, to dry it off, and then probably do another coat or two just to make sure I got everything that I need on it. Now once it's dried enough, you just start peeling away. Then bam, got ourselves our Belial hand. Now, some of this, like I said, I'll have to clean it up. Make sure it looks pretty. Uh, there's a couple of sections like that kind of bled a little too far. So I'll touch that part up. But outside of that, pretty happy overall. And then just kind of repeat process for each of the hands. Uh, except for this one, well, the do this one by hand, but I'll show you guys that here in a few. So again, just clean it up a little bit. Nice and like I said about the acrylic, the reason why I like using it, especially what like a cheap acrylic, <laughs> it's, uh, it's very forgiving. And then when I'm going to be clear coating and stuff anyways, it'll make it nice and firm and easy and not less damaging. I mean, honest to me, like using some of the other stuff still looks about just as good. And this is the fun one because this is just getting coverage. And again, the reason why I'm doing the hair, like I add just a little bit and then hair dry is uh, kind of acts, not really like a primer, but it gives the paint something to stick to. So now I can go a little bit heavier. And probably should grab a smaller brush. Do some of these more finer details.
I uh, painters taped off Belial's head. I am mixing some clear gloss, clear gloss Mod Podge with some translucent red paint. And I'm gonna see how this goes because I kind of want to just put it on in one shot. Painters tape sucks. There we go. Just go over the eye. All right, so you guys can see, one side down, one to go. Let me show you guys again. Top. All right, then briefly for the final step before we just get into the closer looks, I did off screen, but I touched up his head a little bit more. Um, wanted the red to be a little bit darker for the scarring, so I worked on that. Um, but nothing too crazy. Uh, actually, what I did for that is I waiting for this to go off. Uh, just took a little bit of red paint and just follow the scars a little bit because the first well how i did originally fills in the crevices which was nice but wanted it to have a little bit of a darker look or uh redder look so i just went over it lightly worked out pretty good um now i'm just spraying these with some translucent uh matte finish uh mosh podge uh that won't go through an airbrush but i what i do is i mix it with uh do 50 50 uh that and water and then spray that over top of it. Gives it a nice clear coat. And then I found using that over the airbrush works for a lot more figures that way better. Uh, I don't know what's in the airbrush. Or not the airbrush. The spray paint version. Uh, but uh, a lot of these kind of figures, especially on the softer materials, they like to tack up on me. Uh, but this way I can kind of control it a little bit better. And it's just, I don't know, it's been working out for me pretty good so far. I also just realized there's some clay still in here. <laughs> Gotta fix that real quick, because I don't really need to seal the entire figure, but I gotta at least make sure the nails are gonna scuff off really easily anyways. So, pretty much just light dusting, hair dryer, dust it probably one or two more times depending, call it a day. Hey, here is the completed product, our Kaiser Belial. So as you guys can see, Eyes are tinted on this bad boy. Got a nice glossy finish to it. Got these scars on the side of his face. Nice, also blood red color to go along with the eyes and sort of match the body. Uh, clothes, I decided to go a little bit of a brighter red because when I was, when I saw the images, it kind of had more of like a pinkish hue to it. So I had this nice bright metallic red that, uh, Kind of like when it reflects off the light, gives it like a little bit of a pink to it. So I thought it was pretty cool. And personally, I think it turned out pretty nice overall. And that was pretty much it. I was originally going to try to do a cape, but I really failed that thing. <laughs> um, we're just going away with the basics of eyes, the claws, and then all the accessory claws. If I could grab one, are also painted. As you can see, same with the gripping hands up at the top. And if you guys just wanted a look at original, compare next to the custom. Overall, not too shabby. Overall, quick little fun project. And hopefully have some more coming out near future probably gonna try to start working on some of my backlog ones that I like i got primered but I haven't really mounted much at somebody right now uh it's kind of got me in the mood to do some more painting especially that chest burster i had sitting around for freaking ever that i don't even think i filmed i <laughs> just kind of put it together called it a day yeah that's pretty much it let us know in the comment section below if there's anything you guys would like to see in particular I'll take it under consideration, but don't hold your breath on <laughs> If I see a lot of like certain particular things, I might go out of my way to do it. Uh, we also have a Patreon if you guys like to help donate. would greatly appreciate that as well, because that would also help to get more of these guys going sooner <laughs> than later. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger deal. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.